Hey, it's Mark from Analysis Prime University. And in this tutorial, we're going to talk about customizing the home screen in SAP Analytics Cloud. I'm going to start by showing a default home page as it would appear when your account was just created. And here we have one of those. We have tiles on our home page and we can customize those tiles. And that's going to be what's really cool about the home page. You can, in essence, make your own little dashboard that you will see every time you sign into your account. By default, your homepage will have an ask a question tile right here, which links to the search to insight functionality of SAC. Then we have a getting started type of tile here where you can explore a sample story, learn how to change your profile settings and explore the help center for the first time. This tile is one that is commonly removed by clicking on the delete button because as you start to use the tool, you don't need that anymore. The other tiles that are there by default include recent stories, a sample numeric point chart, and a sample bar chart. Now here's some things to be aware of when it comes to these tiles on your home page. First and foremost, you can move them around. I'm simply dragging and dropping these tiles to rearrange them as I would like to. Now these two sample charts, for example, point to another cool piece of functionality I can pin visualizations from other stories directly to my homepage to have them here as a little preview. We'll cover that towards the end of this tutorial. But let's say we accidentally delete one of our tiles and we want it back. How do we do that? We're going to click on our profile button over here at the top right of our screen, and we're gonna to go to home screen settings. Towards the bottom of our edit home screen pop up here, we have a list of home screen tiles that are available to us from here. That includes our getting started one that we deleted already, as well as the recent stories tile that we deleted and maybe we want back. I can toggle these on simply by clicking the icon next to the home screen tile name. And if I click on OK, then those tiles are placed on my home screen. And again, I can move them around to my heart's content. I'm gonna hop back into my home screen settings here though and also talk about these top three dropdowns. We have a default tab, which starts with today, which is your customizable home screen. It's called today on this screen here. There's also a catalog a favorites and a shared with me. Those are different tabs that you can see here in your home screen that you could navigate to at any time. However, you can set one of those tabs to be your default if you would like. The next drop down here is for background. You can change this from the SAP light scheme to the SAP dark color scheme. If you like that dark mode type of view, uh, you can also choose from additional backgrounds or have a corporate background uploaded to your tenant. An administrator could do that. Similarly, we have the logo that we can see. The SAP logo will be there by default, both down here at the bottom of our screens, as well as up here in the top left as a home page icon. And if I go back to my home screen settings and the logo drop down again here, I can see that the logo is also customizable. So you can have a corporate logo included in your tenant, or you can turn the logo off entirely. We were previously looking at a brand new account, but I've now switched over to another account that has some actual use behind it. And I can see that my recent stories tile here is populated with actual stories that were recently accessed as well as the recent files section here. I can scroll through that tile to see those files. But I also wanna show one of the coolest pieces of functionality in the home screen, and that is pinning objects from stories to your home screen. I'm now viewing a simple story with a couple of visualizations in it. If I really like one of these visualizations and I find myself constantly opening up this story to view that information, I can choose to take that visualization, let's say this pie chart here, and click on the more actions button and click on pin to home. The system will tell me that that was done so successfully. And now if I go to my home screen again, I will have a new tile directly from that story. This tile can also be dragged and dropped uh, to different sections of my home screen. And I can also resize it and truly make my own customizable dashboard that I will see every time I log in.